chemistry can be very easy to predict compared to biology and physics for the reason that it shows frequent trends in the exam papers. For your titrations, the most likely to come up this year will be your dissolved oxygen and your iodine thiosulfate reaction. Study the calculations for these and also the methods on how to do them. Moving on to organic chemistry, clove oil and the recrystallization of benzoic acid are highly anticipated to come up this year. In terms of the other experiments, concentration of free chlorine and molecular mass of a volatile liquid are extremely likely to come up this year. As per the trends on the exam papers, question 5 shows mass spectrometry or flame tests. As we move on to fuels and heats of reaction, it is very important to know that the IUPAC naming is very prevalent to come up. You should know these. On top of this, you should expect to see fractional distillation in your exam paper. Question 7 and 9 are heavily pointing towards water. Um, know your hard waters, know all the definitions, know the different phases. And on the other hand, question 7 and 9 are also pointing towards chemical equilibrium. Question 8 is looking at our organic reactions and our ethene and bromine. And finally, for question 10, no chromatography, radiography, and electronegativity.